best-selling author Linda Fairstein is America's foremost legal expert on sex crimes. She's called the Queen of Intelligent Suspense by author Lee Child, and she's done something brand new in her latest book, Devil's Bridge. She gives us the scoop on that over on omnivoracious.com, so check that out. Linda Fairstein, thanks so much for coming today. Delighted. So we are going up close and personal with some rapid fire questions. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm almost ready. The worst advice you ever received? The worst advice I ever received was uh, not to stay in public service, not to go into the DA's office and make it a career, huh. uh, get out or never have a career. And my 30 years there were the most uh, enriching part of my life and also gave me the substance to write about. And the best advice? Follow your dreams. Worst mistake you ever made? There are a lot of those. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the worst mistakes uh, um, professionally were, were bad judgment about a case, usually undercharging something that could have been charged. Um, and I just think of some things I did in college that were personally <laughs> just bad judgment, so we won't tell everybody what they were. <laughs> and what makes you happy? Uh, family and friends. Uh, I love being with people I care about. And what makes you furious? Ooh, um, as Tennessee Williams uh, writes in Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, mendacity. Uh, I think lying, especially as I found it in my career with prosecutors, police, trying to help people, people who lie, I have no, no use for. Mm -hmm. And how do you deal with difficulties? Are you a crier? Um, I used to be a crier, and I cried when I had a difficult moment during my first trial. And uh, my boss came in the room, he'd never had a woman in, in the courtroom before, and he saw me crying uh, over what I was anticipating my cross-examination would be that afternoon with nobody to help me. And he said, men don't cry. Uh, and I said, well, I'm a woman. And he said, well, I said, what do you do? And he said, we go into the men's room and throw up. Oh. And advice I chose not to follow, but <laughs> it did stop me from crying at the workplace. So uh, soldier through. Find so. a way. Um, uh, just use every bit of brain power you've got and fortitude and get it done. Mm -hmm. And after all those years of, as head prosecutor of the sex crimes unit in Manhattan, do you still have faith in human nature? Tremendous faith in human nature. It's such deviant behavior that I dealt with, so unusual, aberrant behavior. Most people are so good, mm -hmm. and I think part of helping my victims recover was to explain to them and get them to understand how devastating but unusual that behavior was. Right. So I think people right. are good. Right. And what thing or things are you most grateful for in your life? That would be my family. And final question. Yes. You're stranded on a desert island and you can have one companion. Who would you choose? I'd have to choose my new husband. We have, it's not even been a year. <laughs> yes, I, would. Would. <laughs> I would be still new and fresh. Uh, and uh, we eloped last, last um, fall. So he'd be the one with me. Very romantic. <laughs> Linda Fairstein, thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much. Thank you.